got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. Tell them grab the rides and let the real scream. I think I got a bite. I think I got a bite. I think I got a bite. So get ready for the fight. I think I got a bite. I think I got a bite. I think I got a bite. So get ready for the fight. Someone get the belt, I'm yelling, that's a fish on oh, It's a sunny day, so you know the sand's in my toes I hear that drag feeling, I hear that real screaming You see the wake of a monster, that's a magical feeling Yeah, I'm living as a man in my own paradise Where I open up the cooler, there's a cold but light Where the wind whistles through the rods cause of tight light Hey, what's up guys, Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci With Captain Eric Hernandez of Hook and Memories Guide Service. So, today we are reiterating the GAR tournament that's happening this weekend. This thing is blowing up. We've got guys from all over the state coming in. I mean, I'm talking way up north to way down south. Everybody's congregating into Corpus Christi for the first annual North versus South of the Alligator GAR tournament. Is there any new information that we need to know? Yes, there was there was um, a few things that's come out, guys, that uh, that have been changed. Well, not okay. As far as the rules on the uh, Facebook page itself, as soon as you open up South Texas Alligator Guard North versus South tournament, there's an announcement. The announcement has rules. Okay, now we have added a few rules that are not on there yet, but will be said at the captain's meeting. And basically, it's the rules that I've already went over in a live stream about fishing property. Um, a certain property and a certain private pier. Um, I, there is no private piers allowed to fish, but you are allowed to fish a public pier. Um, that same body of water that was complained about that I took care of and excluded some people out of our tournament already. And I say our tournament because this is for everybody. This ain't just for me because I'm actually not making a dollar out of this. I've actually got about four grand invested into it so far out of my pocket just to bring awareness to a species that I, I hope to save and, and for our children to catch later on, right. you know. So you, you nailed it. That's the end goal. But I do have to say, those are some nice trophies. I've seen them. I've seen a picture. They're nice, but, you know, he hit he hit the bigger portion of what this tournament is standing for, and it's for the survival of the species that has been brought to light in the last few years. It's crazy what kind of almost an extinction level event they went through and survived, kind of like the sharks, the same way. And they're finally gaining some momentum here with a lot of people pushing for some better fishing habits and, you know, working together. You know, this is a team event. You know, everybody that's involved needs to stay in a positive manner and look at it that way. I mean, we're teaching our next generations how we treat our species of fish now will show how they can enjoy it later. So you, you nailed, you definitely nailed oh, that. Yeah. And I do, I, Got to shake your hand on that, boss, because it, it takes a lot of digging down in oneself to know where they need to, you know, put their foot down and take the high road for a better future for all of us to enjoy. So I do have to admit, too, you know, I'm looking back at all these sponsors, you know, that are all coming in for this deal. You know, it makes you realize that it's a great thing that's coming together. There's, oh, yeah. what, almost 400 anglers supposed to be coming already? Yeah, that's just the, that's the guest admit. I mean, that's what we're looking at as far as uh, teams that are coming in with two to three guys. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at about 400 gar fishermen. That doesn't even include the redfish part of this tournament. So, uh, you know, guys, it's, who knows, it could be double that. Yeah, yeah. So, in relation to what's going on with that, we also had another sponsor. He, he already told us, yes, he was, but he hadn't confirmed exactly what he was bringing in and willing to go, but he is pretty much opened the door for us. So right now we've got the three ounce and the two L's of the Gator Lords. And these are the bigger spoons that we are gonna be taking. They're gonna be prizes, they're gonna be raffled offs. Right. We got a lot more lures that are also coming into play. I just didn't have enough room on the counter space to be working with and stuff. But Gator Lures, if you haven't checked them out, it's GatorLures.com and or you can check them out here at Hard Life's Bait and Tackle or you're already seeing them on the YouTube channel. So again, this is going to be an awesome event. I will be there on, on site. I'll be recording and hopefully we can, you know, like I said, it, it's going to be a tough one to say, you know, we're going to go out there and take it because there's a lot of locals here. There's a lot of guys that have a lot of time on the water. So it's going to be a great event. I love fishing with top notch players. Oh, yeah. You know, everybody willing to put forth the better foot and do a good thing and fish the right way. 
hey guys, more kudos to you because you know what? It really counts when you take that home that win, and it's oh, a yeah. good, clean way to do it. So, oh yeah. All right. Anything else you you think no, you uh, have missed? <laughs> uh, no. The only thing on, on the uh, that I'd like to speak on is the the actual captain's meeting is the day before the tournament, guys, from 5 p.m. and I will stay until I'm done uh, with the pre-registration. The pre-registration is a captain's meeting plus pre-registrations. I will number your rods. And after that's done, uh, Saturday morning, you'll get your last bit of information before you guys get out to go fishing. So if you pre-register Friday, you're first in line come Saturday morning. So who hasn't registered, uh, if you didn't register Friday morning, you have to wait in the back of the line for the guys that are pre-registered. And then so we can go over the information, the rules. And so you, when you sign that waiver, you know what you're responsible for. Um, the trash guys that pick up, you know, I will be giving out trash bags. I mean, I bought, uh, I think 500 to 1,000 trash bags. So, you know, guys, pick up more than you brought. I'm trying to promote not just catching these fish and releasing these fish. I'm trying to promote healthy, clean environment for every animal that's out there, guys. I mean, we got to do our part. You guys need to understand I have been bashed and I've never left a, a piece of trash. I have been thrown across the mud. My YouTube channel has been thrown out there and it wasn't even me, guys. So I still went out and picked up that trash, by the way. Yeah, it was two bags of uh, cans and I'm not a... a bottle and James drinker. I don't drink smearing off ice and shit like that. I'm a blood guy. So, you know, I don't drink make a little ultra or core. So whoever had the party do kudos to you. But next time pick up your damn trash. I'm not your daddy dude. I'm not taking my belt off and whoop that butt next time. I'm <laughs> tired of picking up after other people. Tell you what, you know, I, like I said, I've gone with uh, Captain Eric multiple times and, you know, as they're cleaning up, you know, it's not even, you know, having to be rid of, hey, did we make sure to clean everything else up that we wasn't ours? You know, I've, I've seen it. You know, I've been there, you know, and same with me, you know, hey, my, my team was with me. Hey, let's clean up, let's help. If, if they miss something, let's, let's pick it up too. And like I said, you know, you work together to save these spots because that's the other thing too. You oh, see yeah. all these spots that are great fishing areas and they get closed down because they're private property and they allow people onto those properties. Yep. But when you're trashing them, they, like you said, they, they ain't your dad, they ain't your mom. Clean up after yourself. Always take yep. more than what you bring in there and stuff like that. And, that way we can continue to enjoy those big catches right. and more time of it and stuff like that. So, right, absolutely. Again, and nothing uh, worse than somebody taking away a spot that is a producing spot, you know, because the next thing you know, you got a ticket for trespassing or going to jail. Yeah, you know, yes, sir. So, again, congratulations to you. This is going to be an awesome event. I can't wait. Can't wait. But uh, got to Saturday is when it starts. I'll yep. be there Friday. So, and then the men and smokers, bro. Yeah, I'm, bring, I'm bringing the hunger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Thank you, uh, Mondo. Uh, Mondo's nice enough to sponsor 75 plates, and then um, after that, I believe he's charging for plates afterwards. Okay. So uh, the first 75 to get in line, guys, uh, gets a free meal. Thank so, um, so just, that's the the day of the captain's meeting, or the day. No, that's the way it's in. going to be the day of the weigh-in. Well, the day of the the tournament awards, announcements awards and who won the award ceremony, the whole nine yards. Okay. Um, as far as everything, guys, the sponsors, uh, now I gotta thank Gator, Gator Lures, uh, Spoons for coming in and sponsoring the tournament too and giving up these, guys, I've used a lure, and matter of fact, I hooked into a Gar with one, so, hey, man, Gar will buy them too. Um, I gotta appreciate uh, everybody that's on this calendar, cause, I mean, on this poster, because, man, these guys have gone above and beyond my first ever tournament. I didn't know what to expect. All I know is that the fishing community has a big heart. We're out there, we're doing what we need to do. And, uh, you know, guys, I hope you take part in this because it's uh, going to be one heck of an event. And, you know, if you're not being able to fish it this year, maybe next year, guys. So thank you for watching. As always, to the next time to next fish, Captain Eric says thank you so much. Albert, appreciate you, my friend. Yes, sir. And uh, yes, sir. you guys don't know, man, come down to Hard Life at a shop here off of uh, the access road of SPID. Uh, come get your tackle, guys. He's got a plenty in the store. Yes, sir. <coughs>